Good morning, Smith Station. I'm Carrie Van Cooley, and you're watching PNN. If you would like to apply for a scholarship at Southern Union or Chattahoochee Valley Community College and have any questions, a representative from each of the schools will be making a cafeteria visit. CV will be there Thursday and Southern Union will be here on February 12th. The Smith Station basketball teams will be having senior night tomorrow night as they take on Tallahassee. Come out and support your Panthers as they play their last home games. Outdoor track tryouts are from February 10th through 12th at the track complex from 4.30 to 5.30. Anyone is welcome to come try out. Now here's Nadia Hamilton with Throwback Thursday. Welcome back to Throwback Thursday. This week we'll be giving you the top five shows of Throwback Cartoon Network. Here's a recap of last week's shows six through ten. At number five, we have Codename Kids Next Door. Okay, Kids Next Door, simple question. What did we learn today? Do not deviate from plans. Teamwork is the key to mission success. Operational procedures are important. Pianos are heavy. Oh, close enough. Number four is Scooby-Doo. I think he wants that blank paper the guard gave us. And I think it's time to leave. Everybody, run! What's going on around here? Run from what? There, that's better. Uh -huh. ah! Number three is Johnny Bravo. Who's that handsome guy? Hello, 911 emergency. There's a handsome guy in my house. Oh, <laughs> wait a second, cancel that. It's only me. Oh, you drive me wild. At number two, we have Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Obey my commands! Commands? Is there an echo in here? Quick, bend over! Uh, Pull up your feet! Uh, uh, now, eat your mattress! Yum! And at number one, Tom and Jerry. Tune in next week to find out shows 6 through 10 of Throwback Nickelodeon. I'm Nadia Hamilton, and this has been Throwback Thursday. If you plan on going to the movies anytime soon, here's some do's and don'ts. Here's This Week in History with Kim Best. In 1998, Bill 
Clayton got himself in a little trouble with Miss Lewinsky. In 1984, Michael Jackson got burned during a Pepsi commercial. In 1956, Elvis Presley made his first appearance on national TV. In 1969, Jimi Hendrix and Pete Townshend waged a battle of guitars. And in 1956, Martin Luther King Jr.'s ho house got burned. This has been Kimberly Best, PNN. Now here's Alora Holmes with a story on the Valentine's Day buttons. Have an idea for a button? Even if you don't, a new opportunity is coming up to get a very cute Valentine theme button. Large normal ones will be $3, small ones $1, and keychains will be 2 If you want your own unique button, send the design to the email listed on a form found at Mrs. Stetikla's room closer to Valentine's Day. Large specialized will be $5, and small will be 3 All buttons are made by the students of the class, and some designed. Remember that this will be closer to Valentine's Day, so don't run over there just so quickly. Tomorrow's weather is going to be partly cloudy with your highs being in the 50s and your low being 28. On Saturday, your highs will also be in the 50s, but your low will be 39. On Sunday, there is a chance of rain with your highs being in the 60s and your low being 43. This has been Madison Dixon with your weekend weather. Here's some sayings that no one really says anymore with Katie Evans. Uh, no, no, no. Not today. <laughs> Boing, boing. Let's blow this popsicle stand, boys. Kaboom. Yes, Rico. Kaboom. Come on, boys. What is all this, Mr. Chu? They're everywhere. Looks like this is it. Hey. Yeah. YOLO. What'd you just say? Mike, 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 Mike! Mike, 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 Mike! Guess what day it is! Hey, camera! Guess what day it is! It's not even Wednesday. Let it go, Phil. Hey, okay, what's the weather gonna be like today? I don't know. Let me Yahoo search it. Alright, man, thanks. Oh my god, Jared, I love your Crocs. Where'd you get them at, man? Oh my god, I can't wait to write my term paper. Please post more pictures of what you got from Starbucks on Instagram. Oh my gosh, yay, it's Monday. I just love watching 400 second Snapchat stories. I wish the person walking in front of me would slow down. I just want to go to Walmart. I mean, it's so relaxed and I can shop. I mean, the lines are short. Here's a track preview with DeMonte Staten. This week, we met up with the boys' track team to ask about their goals and personal records for this season. I would like to PR in the two mile, sub 10 maybe, you know, like 459 and five flat, something like that. Team wise, I'd like to have a successful season with my boys and hopefully everybody PRs. Get them. Um, I would have to say one of my biggest goals this year is to hopefully win 7A indoor outdoor season. It'd be nice because it'd be the first 7A uh, state title that we could bring to the school. Um, but my biggest goal would have to be our 4 by mile and 4 by 8 team to break some records and just show out, I guess, at all the races. It'd be pretty nice. And then some of my PRs that I would like for this season would be in the mile, I want to get in the low, like, 4, around the 4 O's, like 408 or something like that, below 410, that'd be nice. And that'd be potential scholarship money. And then for the 800, it'd be nice to go 155 or faster. But, I mean, we're, going, we're just going to hope for the best and see how this season progresses. My goals for this year would be for the mile, 416, and for the 800 meters, 152. Uh, really just trying to break this record for the mile for the school and just overall just run well this year. Maybe get a couple medals here and there. Go to Nationals is probably one of my biggest goals. As a whole team, I just want to have a good 4x8 team, a good 4x mile team. Even had the mids come through with the 4x4. And so I'm just really looking forward to that. I am Cedric Mack. I'm a middle distance runner, 400, 800 runner. For my team goals this year, I would like to go 325 as a 4x4. 
which is 51 average for everyone, 51 seconds. And every place we race at, I would like for us to get on the podium medal every time. And for my personal records, I want to go personally 48 for the 400 and 157 for the 800. And with all the training that I am doing, I should be able to do it. I mean, I have great resources, but I just got to get it myself. Uh, my goal so far for the season is probably a 49 for the 400 and hopefully get into two flats for the 800. As a team, I want the 4 by 4 to go to state and possibly nationals and hit like three 17s around there. Watch next week for the girls' preview. I'm DeMonte Staten, PNN. Here's this week's video games with Jesse Stilwell. There's more big news out of GTA 5 online. Most of you know that GTA 5 was re-released on next-gen systems and that the re-release featured an all-new first-person mode as well as new side content, like new random events, more songs and talk show segments on the radio, and more than a thousand new animations to accompany the new viewpoint. A good bit of you also probably know that GTA is adding heist to the online part of the game too. Those familiar with GTA 5's single-player campaign know how the heist in the game are set up. The online heists are set in the same format, but now players are expected to split up and accomplish tasks individually or in small groups. This of course means that heist performance is dependent on other players, which might be a setback for players in the long run. The heists are expected to be planned the same way in the campaign, with multiple tiered paths available for the players to decide from. The heists require a high-end apartment to be used like a base of operations. They also need a heist leader, who has to risk some cash initially to cover the expenses of the heist, but gets the highest payout if the heist is successful. I'm Jesse Stillwell, and this has been PNN Video Games. Thanks for watching. Make sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Have a great day, Station.